Hello everyone. Um, today's makeup tutorial is going to be more about eternal beauty and youth because lots of the comments I've had from my previous um, tutorials, thanks guys, have been like, um, how do you look so great? You know, what's your routine? Um, how do you look so youthful and sprightly and trim? So today I'm going to be giving away lots of my secrets that have been handed down to me through the family or that I've read in ancient manuscripts. And so, well, I've um, pulled back my hair just with this little hat because today it's all about the facial beauty, so I don't want to be distracted with wigs and weaves and accessories. It's about just the essentials. And I really have to do a shout out to uh, Emily Rose England who inspired me to do this look when I had caught a glimpse of her magnificent memories the other day and thought to myself these soft, um, smooth mounds of flesh really inspired me to show everyone how I keep my face like a 17 year old bust. So, um, I'm going to begin with um, a tip that I learnt by reading lots of ancient Roman and Greek is, um, well Agrippina and uh, people like that, Melissa and also Nero was partial it's great tip is um, to use a uh, young man's semen um, sperm. I have it here. I managed to extract this from a neighbour um, late last night. Um, now the best thing is just to try it first to make sure it's fresh enough. That will do. Um, now if you can't find a young virgin around who's willing to donate sperm, uh, you know you could try just using a friend. Although as I said, you know young virgin are the best. Um, I mean, it's very, very easy to get hold of, I thought this was okay. So I'm just going to take some and um, I'm going to apply it under the eyes. Now, this is amazing for eye bags. It takes years off. I mean, but without this um, treatment once a week, I l um, sometimes a bit lumpy. Um, uh, without this treatment once a week, I would look about 70. So it really is top tip. Um, now, you can also use it on forehead wrinkles. Apply it liberally, and um, the skin will go quite taut. But it's 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 better than Botox. I mean, everyone out there who's a fan of Botox, just try try this instead. You don't want it clumping in the eyebrow or anything. So that's perfect. You can always um, do a little lip moisture as well. There we go. Or where, wherever you want, really. Sometimes the musky smell can attract people to put a bit behind the ear. Oh. <coughs> anyway. So that's the, how I prepare my face. Now the next um, top tip I have is a little bit more unorthodox, but it's one that I'm sure lots of housewives, um, and certainly I learnt it from um, an old neighbour of mine, um, and well, she, she, you know, well, she looks wonderful and she's about 90. So that is Marmite. Now you can get it everywhere. I got it this one at my local Tesco. And what you want to do is. Um, well, I'm going to use it um, twofold because I'm going to use it as a makeup as well as just a nourisher because it's full of um, B vitamins and great plant extracts. I mean, you can't get healthy in this. I mean, bugger off, lush. All you need is this. But I'm actually going to use it on my eyebrows, and so this is going to widen the eye, give a darker brow, and really nourish my forehead. So I'm just going to apply with a finger. It's tricky stuff, this mark, right? So just um, and then I'm going to apply it just like that. just enhance my brow and it does absolute wonders and um, I should have let the um, sperm dry a bit more before applying this over but yeah it will uh, if, you, if you're at home you'll have a bit longer so that'll be fine so we go and it's so nourishing I mean sometimes I do an entire face mask of this and just do the hoovering on a Sunday just wearing Marmite and nothing else I mean I wouldn't advise complete body coverage in Marmite as um, on a black woman would say um, would also not advised, but it is absolutely wonderful. It keeps the wrinkles at bay, keeps you looking young and healthy and fresh. So there, I've gone for quite a nice brow. And but as this look is about sort of eternal youth, and um, you know, this is a look for everyone. It's a blanket look, y young, old. However, so there we go. A nice expressive brow. I think we've got there. Mm. And taste delicious. To it. And have a bit of kitchen pole, right? Because I mean, with all these um, new products, it can get a bit messy. So anyway, so now we're going to concentrate on turning what is a base of very nourishing product into a great look. So one of the things that keeps me looking so fresh and young is I concentrate on the eyes and really make them pop. 
I'm going to use what my favourite product here, which is running out, so Stargazer, please send me some more, um, is the Stargazer White Foundation. Look at Sandy Spatula. I'm just going to apply it, hopefully the sperm has dried a bit now, and I'm going to apply it underneath the eye. Now, you've probably seen this in a lot of other of my tutorials, but it really does make the eye pop. So you'll pull out that much, and then I'm just going to blend it in. Blend it out onto the cheek. Oh, it's looking absolutely great. Oh, and if you get it on the lashes, it's really good because it makes them pop a bit more too, so it's brilliant. Wipe it off the top because you want more on the bottom. So, yeah. There I've got just about the right amount of that. Um, now, the other thing I'm going to do with the lips is I'm actually going to use... I put the sperm on, but it's fine. I'm going to use another brilliant product, household product, which is Savlon. And I'm going to just coat around my mouth. Now, if you apply it quite thick, it gives this great glossy white look. It's fine. Like, girls, you might have a bit of um, lip, upper lip hair like I've got at the moment, but this covers it all. So you're just prepping the mouth area and it keeps you so young and fresh looking, it's really wonderful. Um, and then I'm going to go for a bright pink lip, again with my Stargazer, one of my favourite products. Um, so I'm going to apply this with my finger again. I'm doing everything, it's very tactile this look, you know when you're young you want to get in touch with your face and you're, um, I'm just going to do the lip. I've done this lip on other tutorials, but no. Now, that you might think, oh, that looks great. It's a great, subtle little look. But the thing about looking young and fresh is you take risks. I mean, um, it might sound ridiculous on paper, like having marmite on your face, but actually you can see how wonderful it looks. So I'm just going to add an extra bit of lip, like right up onto the top of it, like that. And it's very easy to do actually the size of your finger, just stick it like that. Perfect. And it gives that nice little shape to top lip. Mm. Agrippina would be proud. Mm. I can really feel the um, V vitamins and the sort of the young sperm rejuvenating my face. I mean, some people, you know, uh, Countess Pathori and people like that have been known to drink virgin's blood, but I think it's much yeah, less dangerous, especially in this day and age with lots of disease that can be transmitted through blood, it's much safer just to use sperm, um, it's easier to get hold of this day and as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is nothing says young and flawless like a 24 um, carat diamond and as Elizabeth Taylor, God rest her soul, has died recently, lots of great diamonds have come back onto the market. So I'm going to um, apply some here. Now there's key points where you should apply them. So I've got one here, it's quite a nice big one. And I think it'd be really nice to, you know, people are going to be staring at my eyes. And I've chosen one with a slightly blue, blue hue, and it's a sapphire, and I'm going to attach it there. So it just draws the face outwards a bit, the eye when people are looking at you. And I think I might also go for a nice ruby here. Um, this one was smuggled out of um, Africa by Richard Burton. And I think in a nod to the east, I'm going to attach it there to my forehead. Um, now, I think that looks great. I think I might just do one little, little diamond again, just in between my lips, so it looks, um, there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, shit face. It's not going to stay on, though. So I haven't got my glue with me up this chair. Well, anyway, you can see I'll just glue that on there. Perfect. Now, the other great thing is I'm going to add some... That's not going to stay on. Ridiculous. Um, anyway, just glue that on with a bit of copy deck, that'll be fine. I can't bother to get up and getting out. Now, the next thing is I'm going to use some blue glitter. Now, I got this down one of my favourite makeup boutiques, which is Poundland in Peckham. And I've chosen blue here because it's sort of what the most famous young virgin of all time, the Virgin Mary, you know, the mother of Jesus, blue. So, you know, it sort of it gives that look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake a bit into my hand. I'm going to apply to the upper cheek. Now the sperm is still sticky, so it will stay. Do that on both sides. I think that's great. I mean, you can always just tap on a bit more if you feel so inclined. As you know, I'm not a huge fan of a subtle look. Hmm. Yeah, that's great. 
Um, and I think the final thing I'm going to do is um, a bit of silver glitter just in the eyebrow because the Marmite look is great but it's nice to soften it a little bit and give that sort of angelic brow that is more becoming of, um, of an eternal beauty but hopefully you'll use these tips and become. So I'm going to set the whole face with hairspray and it helps give that taut, that taut look to your face. Um, um, and I think I'm ready, but I might just let you into my final little secret of looking so great. And that is, I do 20 minutes of um, hula hooping every day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon.